Hey guys, thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today we're going to go over Nano. If you guys like this content, please subscribe to the channel and turn your notifications on. Um, I have recently started accepting tips for this stuff, so if you if you want to tip me, you can find that in the description below. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and jump in. Um, we're going to be talking about a lot of different things related to Nano, but primarily this logarithmic regression curve. Now, if you followed my stuff, I have made this for a few different coins. The one that I primarily use it for is Bitcoin, and I think using it for many other coins is quite dubious just because there's not a whole lot of data to go on. But I did get a lot of requests that I make one for Nano, and just for fun, not to say it's it's meant to be predictive or anything like that, um, but let's just look at what the optimization package turned back for a logarithmic regression band for Nano prices. So. If we jump in, you can see, um, you know, we start out down the bottom, we go all the way up to this upper band up here, and then as we come down, we, we bounce off of these different bands, um, and then we rode this orange band for a while um, down here, and this is where we came down to over here, and then, you know, ultimately we were not able to hold this. If you guys remember, in early 2019, we rode this orange band for many many months before jumping up to the yellow band holding it as resistance coming back down to the orange band and then ultimately falling below it now in order to stay on these bands the price has to keep increasing because otherwise it will ultimately fall below the band now currently we're at the purple band that doesn't mean that it won't fall below it it very well could um, this is just where we currently are um, so I, I want to kind of highlight some similarities with um, Bitcoin. So with Bitcoin, this is what the logarithmic regression bands look like. And you know you can see that um, each peak, the, we fall down several of these regression lines. So the first one we fall down about three, three lines, the second one we fall down another couple lines. So if we were to do the same thing with Nano, if, it's a big if, um, maybe we would fall down to this to this line over here during the next bull run. If the next bull run to, were to occur in, say, end of 2022, then, I mean, clearly that would put at Nano at an astronomical number close to $1,000. Now, this is not to say this is not a price prediction. This is just looking at what Bitcoin did and then trying to understand where Nano might be headed if it were to continue to emulate Bitcoin as a groundbreaking technology that's going to revolutionize, you know, financial systems and, and, and whatnot. So, um, you know, you can see that currently we're on uh, this lower regression band, but, you know, Bitcoin, Bitcoin has done similar stuff. You know, it, it sometimes falls down to bands lower than it had been before, because, for instance, it had never touched this orange band in the first couple cycles, or in the first cycle, and then the second cycle, it came down to the orange band, okay? And then in the third cycle, we came down to the orange band, but we never saw it in the first cycle. So it's possible that, you know, we've fallen down to this band and we are going to ride this band for a while before, you know, taking off again. It's also possible we go below this band. Again, it's not meant to be predictive. It's just I got a lot of requests to make this for Nano just to kind of give you more of a macro level picture. So I'm going to do it. Um, you could make these models for any a lot of different coins. Um, a lot of the ones in the top 10 you could make these for. There's plenty of coins out there that would not fit this model because all they've done is just decrease um, you know pretty much daily for the last couple years. Whereas a lot of coins you know are, are trying to find support zones and you know ultimately are dependent on on Bitcoin as to um, where they head in the short term. So, one of the things that I, I did after I made this Bitcoin video is, and I said, okay, well, what if we just take non-bubble data, okay? We just take non-bubble data, then we get this primary logarithmic regression um, line, and then let's just say we only dollar cost average in there. Um, you can imagine, so here it is inset into this nano, nano um, price data. We're super early with nano, guys. We don't know exactly where this band is. You can imagine that if, if the band were to say look something like that, um, then uh, you know now could be a really good time to buy. Again, it's it's too early to say. Um, that's why Nano I would consider to be one of my higher risk investments. 
Um, but ultimately, you know, I really do um, think it's worth investing in um, for myself, not that this is financial advice. Um, I do think it's a, um, uh, for me anyways, it's a, it's a, one of those risky long-term holds uh, just because I really, I really like the community. I really like um, the team behind the coin and I really like the technology. I mean, being able to send, you know, nano to someone around the world in, you know, a second is, is incredible. And I've done it before. Um, so if you guys haven't experienced that, just, you know, get, you could, you know, I'm sure you can uh, just find some nano. Maybe you can, you can easily buy it. I'm not telling you to buy it, but if you, if you do get some, uh, just send it to, to an address and you can literally watch it come in in real time in about one or two seconds. It's, it's really amazing um, how quickly you can send it. And best of all, it is absolutely free to send it. Um, it does not cost, cost you anything. You know, fees, even small fees add up over time. Um, but with Nano, it's, it's just completely free and it's instant. Um, which, you know, ultimately the world is going to need something that is free or close to it and instant. If it's, you know, in terms of cryptocurrency. And that's not to say that Nano is going to fill that, that niche, but it's, you know, it's, it's at least a candidate for it. So remember, um, we might not hold the purple line. Uh, so far, it seems like we've been holding it quite nicely for a while. Um, and if we were to continue holding it, then that means that the price of Nano um, would have to keep increasing in order to hold this, this lower band. Now, I've shown this uh, before, and I just wanted to kind of give an update on it. So this is the ROI for Bitcoin and Nano normalized to days since inception. So you can see that Nano had an, a 1,000x gain, and this is basically as far back as I could get reliable data, so obviously there's going to be some error, error bars on these. But you can see during that first run-up, Nano had an incredible run-up of around 1,000x, um, and it did much better than Bitcoin in that first run-up based on the data that I have. And when it fell, it actually fell lower than Bitcoin. And basically everything it's done, it's been prolonged compared to Bitcoin. And it's possible that, you know, we are, we are um, like this run up here uh, for Bitcoin maybe corresponds to this run up here for Nano. And then Bitcoin came back down and held support at this region for a while before then going off again. So we came up, we came back down, holding support. Hopefully we're going to see something similar to what Bitcoin did. And you can imagine that if our ROI were... To continue to say emulate Bitcoin or you know some order of it, um, then going up another hundred x from here is within the realm of possibility. Um, if we continue um, that same level of of growth, and that's not uh, a definitive by by any means at all. Anyways, I just wanted to you know cover Nano. I like the coin. Um, get involved with the community and see what it's all about. If you're if you're not familiar with it, and just test it out for yourself. Um, just see see what it can do, uh, and and um, uh, see see if you like it. Um, if you guys like this content, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, again, if you if you want to tip me, you can. I'll put the my address in the description below. If you're a college student, if you're a graduate student, don't feel like you need to. I would urge you not to. Um, but anyways, uh, that is uh, mainly it for this video. Just again, here is that logarithmic regression band. I would like to know what you guys think in the comments below. Where do you think we're headed? Do you think we're going to fall another band? Do you think we're going to ride this lower band for another year? Um, do you think we're going to pop back up to maybe the green band? Or where do you think we're headed? Again, this is a logarithmic scale. So 10 to the 0 is 1. 10 to the 1 is 10, 100, 1,000. Right, guys, that's it for this video. Until next time, bye.